Today I'm flying to the most isolated city in the world to see if I can find thrift store items worth selling on eBay for a profit. If you haven't guessed the city yet, it's Perth, located in Western Australia. This place is so isolated that its nearest city, Adelaide, is over 2,000 kilometers away. There is one problem though, I only have a 20 kilo bag limit to get these items back home. So I can only buy the very best stuff in today's episode. But the real question is, can you find profitable items in the world's most isolated city? Let's find out. Well, it's a fast start, guys. I've picked this up for $14, two bucks a piece. Every single episode of Rules of Engagement, I should be able to get about 100 bucks with five of them being brand new. Got this one right here as well, the Nike SB hat. $5 should convert into about 30 bucks. Uh, so that was a really cool find. I've got the Arsenal jumper here as well. This one was in, well, pretty much like new condition. Do like picking up the sporting merchandise as well. So for $35, Ooh. I've gone ahead and left that one behind. Uh, the CDs and the DVDs, 10 for $5. That's a pretty good special if you ask me. So I did a bit of digging and I came away with True Blood every single episode, a complete series. Should be able to get about 60 bucks nice. for that one. Shameless, uh, look, seasons one to four. Seven discs in that one there. I should be able to do all right. Dammer and Greg, bit of nostalgia in that show for me. So uh, I like the look of that one. But look, put the SB hat in with the two DVD series and that was a pretty good little collect there. I went into another store. I found these Jordans and look, they were great. Obviously something you'd love to buy, but $200. Who puts $200? on a pair of shoes in a thrift store. That what? was just madness. I uh, didn't have too much optimism by uh, looking at the next pair of Jordans right next to them. And uh, yeah, 60 bucks. That is Bruh. just ridiculous. But not too bad, guys. A few DVDs to kick off the day. Man, things are hot out west. I think it's about 25, 26 degrees right now and it's only gonna get hotter. Uh, it has definitely been tough out here. I've noticed that the price points in WA, especially here in uh, Fremantle, are, are pretty exy. So I don't know if that's just the suburb that I'm in. If I go to a different suburb, maybe an outer, an outer suburb, uh, it might get a little bit cheaper. I probably won't have time to do that today. Um, I'm actually going to Mosman Park, which is one of the most expensive parts of Perth. So uh, the reason I'm, I'm heading this way is because my favorite lunch spot is down here. It's the best sandwich in Perth. And I'm hoping that the store's still around. I haven't been here for over two years, but if it is, I'm gonna grab myself this sandwich and then we'll keep moving on. Epic, thank you very much. All right, have a look at that. Just have a look at it. Still looks just as good, but the moment of truth. It's, this would have to be the best $10 sandwich. Oh shit, I'm not in my high car. Well, here's something I like to see, guys. DVDs for just $3 a piece. So I did some digging, I went for a bit of a look, and uh, I did come away with this one right here. We've got Kesler, the complete series. Now, this one was a BBC, multiple discs. Have a look at the price on that one there, guys. 70 bucks for this one right here. I checked the discs, and uh, look, it was in pretty much light new condition, which is just fantastic. Uh, make sure you are checking your discs before you go ahead with your DVD purchases. No matter how good the comps are, they won't sell if they're in bad condition. Uh, we've got this one here as well, guys. Forensic Investigators Series 1 and 2, my goodness. $70 on this one here. So, look, arguably $130 worth of DVD finds right there in those two copies, guys. And I've just paid the $6. I walked into the next thrift store, and uh, look, I did spy this Boston jersey, which I really like the look of. Uh, I do like to sell a lot of jerseys. And uh, the Majestic tag here, Unfortunately, it was a fake. I didn't go ahead with the purchase. $45 was pretty steep, and it gave me confidence knowing that it was a fake with all of these fake NBA jerseys that you've got lying here in the corner. So as good as they were, if they were genuine, I would have bought them, no doubt about it. Basketball jerseys do sell really well for me on eBay, but you do need to make sure they are authentic. And even $18 there was a pretty steep price. So I dove back into the DVDs, guys, and I found this one, an absolutely cracking TV show. If you can find it on DVD, you'll do really well. $20 for a season one copy. And season ones are usually the cheapest price points. So that just shows you how good they are. Um, this one here, Prime Suspect, the final act. Unfortunately, it wasn't worth anything. So I'll put it back uh, on the shelf there. I've got this one here as well, Super Mario Brothers on Nintendo Wii. Unfortunately, no disc, guys. That's why you gotta check with quality. You gotta make sure they're even in there to begin with. And uh, then we've got Buzz, uh, Brain of Oz. This one was a little cheap $15 game. I, I do need to say that everything was $2. So $2 on all of these. Look at this, Super Mario Galaxy. I found this one as well. Just needed to make sure the disc was in there. And there it is there, fantastic. No yeah, manual, boy. but that's okay. I should be able to get about 20 bucks for that one there. Just a few uh, fingerprints on that one. Nothing too drastic. That was an awesome find. So all of these DVDs, including The Mentalist here, are three seasons worth, all coming out at $2 a piece. And when you add in the two DVDs that I found in the other store, this has been a crazy media run well over $250 worth of value.
I'm actually pretty surprised that the Mosman Park stores have been well priced compared to Fremantle. I would have thought the Mosman might have been a little bit more expensive, but $2 for DVDs and video games is pretty unheard of. Remember how I said things are pretty expensive here in WA? Well, these RM Williams are a perfect example. Check that out. $60, that is unheard of, and I needed to leave the store. But before I did, I saw this Manchester United jersey, and that one really did catch my $40, no thank you. I'm not paying $100 for two items of clothing. What is this? This is not a Vinny store, unbelievable. Um, here's another horror show. Oh, God, I've got all of these horrible games no. you'll always see when you're in a thrift store. They sell for about two cents on eBay. Uh, so I've had to pass on those. Uh, Murder, she wrote as well. That one was actually pretty decent, but I did leave that one back on the shelf. Um, I moved it to another store, guys. $15 on these shoes. These were some Shimano mountain bike shoes. Not too bad, uh, but a little bit heavy. So that's the reason why I left those ones behind. But a good one to pick up if you're out there in the thrift. These footy boots, the Copers, I thought about these as well. They're just $4, guys. I could have done it, but they only sell for about $35. This was the consolation prize on what was a pretty tough run, guys. Spook. So I've got eight seasons here. It actually goes for about $80. A huge Bolo DVD show. And the DVDs just keep coming through. All right, guys. We have made it to Cottesloe, a little further north from where we've been. Uh, pretty expensive part of town, so I'm not anticipating this store is going to be too well priced. But uh, we're at the Solaris, I think it's the Solaris Wellness Cancer Center op shop, I think it's called. Um, so we're going to cruise in here and hopefully buy some more DVDs. A few moments later. All right, guys, stop number four, Melville. This is where the story gets really interesting. It was these football boots that really led for everything else to take place. I spot these footy boots, and look, Nike Tiempos, yeah, they're 20 bucks. I bought them. You can turn them into about $80. But if I never saw these boots, none of what it was about to take place would have been able to happen because I just would have gone ahead and left the store. I just think I should really quickly just jump in here and just set up the story. So... This was unreal. I was actually at the front counter and I was about to leave and the lady that was running the shop said to me, is there anything that you would normally love to find and buy in an op shop? And I said, well, yeah, the DVD box sets, TV shows, that's sort of what I like to do. And she said to me, just wait there one second and let me go and check out the back. And from there, this all took place. I've got quite some still, uh, I need to take a bit more time. Do you have time? Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, this three are the one I've Okay. I need to attend to something. I'll you Thank you so much. No worries. Have uh, they got, come back yet? Yeah. yeah, have they got prices on them or are you still doing? Um, I need to price okay. them. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Guys, I was shocked. Three incredible DVD box sets. The Spooks, every single episode, it goes for $165 complete. The Blues collection before was worth about 80 bucks, and then Dad's Army as well for another 60. Guys, in total, she'd been able to bring out about $300 worth of value, and it wasn't the end of it. She went back out and she had another look for some more stuff. Does this work? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay, yeah. let me go find Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's awesome, I'll work through that. Pick what you want and I'll place it later. Okay, thank you. That's awesome. Man, it was my lucky day, guys. I just could not believe all of these DVD box sets that she'd brought out, a whole tub full of them. So I had to go through picking each and every one out and kind of just checking the price of everyone individually. I wanted to be really strategic because I've obviously got to get them back home uh, in the in the baggage on the plane. So $80 for a Doctor Who season one to four, that was a ripper. Uh, these ones here, look, I could have easily grabbed them. If I was back home on the Gold Coast, I would have. Um, but just due to the weight, that was only worth 30. Uh, 24 every single season there. That was an absolute cracker too. Goes for about a hundred bucks. I had to pick that one up. This is another another $30 one that I could have grabbed, but I, I just left it behind. Anything BBC, complete box set, you can generally always pick up. Monarchy, well, I've actually already picked up that one before when I was out doing a private pick just yesterday. Uh, only Fools and Horses, the complete series. Look, that's worth about $70 and, and it is quite small. And then Kavanaugh QC, sold this one a number of times before for about 50 bucks. So I ended up pulling out all of these. It was now worth $600, but I needed to know how much it was going to cost me. <laughs> How'd we go? Yeah, all good. Okay. Uh, so we need two of us to price it and we've got the price here. Thank you for your help. Super discount. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Very kind of you. Oh. That's awesome. 
I was so relieved to hear that she'd given me a great discount. And when I had a look at some of these price points, it was pretty impressive. $10 Kavanaugh QC, everything else really only 24 was the most expensive at $30. Dad's army came in at 25 bucks. So all up, it was just a ridiculous haul and I cannot believe that we've been able to finish the day on this. And Maria here, she said, I, was, I bought these football boots down here. Yeah. And she said, do you want anything for yourself? And I said, oh, I do TV show box sets. Oh. And she goes, let me just have a look out the back. And then she brought all of this out. She's the star of the show, Maria. Yeah.